So you have a Redmi Note 11 and you have an issue where you have a black screen. Even though you have a black screen, you know that the phone is on. Maybe you can hear it ring, maybe you can get notifications, feel it vibrate and so on. So the issue is, is just that your screen is black. The screen is not turning on, but the phone is on. Okay, so I'm going to give you guys several steps to get you up and running right now. First thing is if you guys have a case, go ahead and take the case off. Okay, now that the phone's naked, now take note that this one here is fixed, but we're gonna, we're gonna pretend we have a black screen, okay? So first thing we wanna do is this. What we wanna do is press and hold that power button and do not let go until we see the Mi logo appear, okay? So pretend my phone is black here. Here's the power button, ready, set, go. Press and hold, keep on holding. Don't worry about what's happening to my phone, just pretend my phone is black here. I'm just holding on to the power button, waiting for a Mi logo to appear. Still holding on to the power button. Come on, up, felt it vibrate. Where's that me logo? There it is. Go ahead and let go and let it boot up normally and hopefully now you are out of the black screen. If you still have a black screen, then we're gonna to go to option number two. Okay, so for option number two, now first thing is this. We have the power button here. What we're gonna do is spam the power button a few times. Spam it, meaning like in and out really quickly, like a few times like this, because it's possible if your power button is stuck or jammed or you have dust or lint in there, it can cause a black screen as well. Okay, after you do that a few times, next thing is go ahead and grab your charging cable and we're gonna go ahead and plug it in. Plug it in, wait five seconds. After five seconds, what we wanna do is we wanna restart it again using that, just only the power button, okay? So pretend my screen here is totally black. I have no idea what's going on. Here's the power button, ready, set, go. Press and hold and do not let go of that power button until we see the Mi logo. Pretend my screen is totally black here. I have no idea what's going on. I'm just holding onto this power button, hoping for a Mi logo to appear. Felt it vibrate, Mi logo. Go ahead and let go and let it boot up normally and hopefully you are now out of the black screen. If not, we're gonna to go to step number three. Okay, so if you still have a black screen, no problem. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and unplug the charging cable. Next thing we're gonna do is this, okay? Again, pretend my phone is totally black. What we're gonna do first here is what I call the tap method. What we're gonna do is hold the phone like this, grab two fingers, and what we're gonna do is tap all over on the screen and all over in the back. And the whole premise behind this is possible you have a slight ribbon that's slightly dislodged and a little tap can pop it right into place, okay? So grab your phone here, and we're gonna pretend my phone is all black here. Grab two fingers and what you want to do is tap kind of hard all over on the screen. And sometimes as you're doing this, all of a sudden the screen might turn on. You might get half a screen, you might get like white lines, but just keep tapping kind of hard all over. Okay, nothing's coming on, no problem. Just keep tapping like that. Turn it over and we're gonna do the same thing on the back. You wanna tap and you also wanna get all around the camera lens too if you don't wanna smudge it up you can use a cloth or a rag or paper towel or something but you want to tap all over around there all over on the phone all the way on the bottom everywhere now go ahead and turn it over and tap the power button and see if your screen turns on if the screen is still black then from here same thing press and hold that power button and do not let go until we see a me logo appear once the me logo appears then go ahead and let go Okay, and hopefully you're up and running with this step. If not, then we're gonna move on to the next possible fix. Okay, so you still have a black screen. So the next thing we're gonna do here is what I call the massage method. So what we're gonna do is hold the phone like this and we're gonna grab our thumb and we're gonna press all into the screen and all over on the back. And this is the same premise as the, uh, the tapping. You may have a ribbon that's slightly dislodged, slightly disconnected, okay? If you don't wanna um, smudge up your screen or anything like that, you can use a cloth. But I'll start off on the screen here. And what I'm gonna do is hold it like this and I'm gonna give it like a nice massage. You can see I'm pressing in, pressing in. Now, if you hear a little click, go ahead and tap that power button. And if you hear a click, then your screen is probably on, okay? If not, no problem. We're just gonna go ahead and continue to massage it. Massage, massage all over, massage all the way. Even on the corners down here, and then just tap that power button and see if the screen is on. If it's not on, no problem. Next, we're gonna turn it over and we're gonna massage all in the back, okay? Press, press, press kind of hard, okay? Press, press, all around the lens too. Press, remember, if you hear a little click, 
just turn the phone over and tap the power button and see if your screen is on. Okay, anyway, I'm going to continue the massage here. Nice press all over. Press, press, turn it over, tap on that power button and see if the screen is on. If the screen is still black, then from here, again, press and hold that power button. Do not let go until you see the Me logo appear, then let go. Okay, and hopefully you guys are up and running. If you're still down, then we're going to move on to the next possible fix. So the next possible fix here I have is what I call the smack method. Why? Because what I want you to do is smack the screen and smack the back. Okay, and this is the same premise with the tapping or the massage method. So I'm just going to go ahead and hold my palm out like this. You can, If you don't want to smudge up your screen again, you can put a cloth on there. But I'm going to start off on the screen here. What I'm going to do is hold the phone like this. I'm going to smack it like this. And then I'm going to go to the bottom of the screen. Give it like a bunch of wax. And then turn your phone over. Tap on the power button and see if the screen is on. If not, no problem. We also got to smack the back, okay? So we're going to go ahead and smack the back of it. Also on the bottom back. Now turn your phone over, tap on that power button and see if your screen is on. If it's not, no problem. From here, same thing. Press and hold that power button. Do not let go until you see the Mi logo appear, then let go, okay? Now if you still have a black screen, then the last option I have for you is what I call the freezer method. So what I want you to do is grab your phone naked, just like this, go to your freezer, put this into your freezer where it's nice and cold, leave it there for about 15 to 20 minutes. After 15 to 20 minutes, grab your nice cold phone, take it out of the freezer, tap on that power button and see if your screen is on. If, it's, if you still have a black screen, then while the phone is nice and cold, press and hold that power button again and do not let go until you see the me logo appear. Once the logo appears, go ahead and let go of the power button, okay? Now here's the thing, if you guys tried all of these steps and you still have a black screen, then what I want you to do is start back over from step number one and try to number one, number two, all the way to the last step. Also, if you have a, a screen protector on here, this may be the time for you to go ahead and take that off because it can cause a black screen issue as well, okay? So I would recommend uh, trying every step at least six, seventh, the seventh time is usually a, um, seventh time is usually a charm, okay? So anyway, if this worked for you, uh, give me a thumbs up and please comment which step worked for you, which step you think worked for you. If it didn't work for you, give me a thumbs down. If you guys tried every single step uh, in this video at least seven times, at least 75% of you guys should now be up and running. Good luck.